Hey everybody and welcome to Leia's Lair. In this episode, I'll be doing part 3, the finale of the what if scenario, and that is, what if Qui-Gon Jinn did not die at the end of the Phantom Menace? If you're enjoying the videos, please give them a like, share, and subscribe to the channel so I can continue making them for you. It has been three years since the start of the Clone Wars, and Darth Defian and Sidious still remain elusive. Anakin, now a Jedi Knight, and Obi-Wan, now a Jedi Master, execute a mission above Coruscant to rescue Chancellor Palpatine. Chancellor, are you alright? Now because Count Dooku has already been killed in this timeline, it is General Grievous who confronts Anakin and Obi-Wan. General Kenobi, we've been waiting for you. And... <coughs> Anakin Skywalker who together make quick work of him, with Anakin ultimately being the one who leaps over Grievous and takes off his head mid-jump in the finishing blow. They rescue the Chancellor and return to Coruscant, where Anakin is reunited with his wife Padme, who reveals she's pregnant. Later that night, Anakin, while sleeping, has a vision of Padme dying in childbirth. He then vows that he will not let this dream come true. I won't let this one become real. The Jedi Council has a meeting to discuss the war and how it should be coming to an end soon. What about the droid attack on the Wookiees? Yoda proposes he goes to Wookiees Kashyyyk as he has good relations Wookiees. with the Wookiees. Go, I will. Good relations with the Wookiees, I have. Meanwhile, Anakin is summoned to meet Chancellor Palpatine at the Opera House, where Palpatine tells him about the tragedy of Darth Plagueis in an attempt to sway him to the dark side. Did you ever hear the tragedy? Darth Plagueis the Wise. After this, Palpatine reveals himself to Anakin as Darth Sidious. Shocked, Anakin ignites his lightsaber and contemplates striking down the Dark Lord, but knows that only through him can he discover the power to save Padme. He decides to turn him over to the Jedi Council instead. I'm going to turn you over to the Jedi Council. Anakin tells Mace Windu and Obi-Wan, who's not away on Utapau in this timeline, that he believes Palpatine is the other Sith Lord they've been looking for. How do you know this? He knows the ways of the Force. He's been trained to use the dark side. They tell Anakin but to wait now, in the council chamber for their return. Wait in the council chambers until we return. The group of Jedi Masters, including Obi-Wan, go to confront Darth Sidious. In the name of the Galactic Senate of the Republic, you're under arrest, Chancellor. However, Darth Defian steps out behind them. The Jedi Masters are surrounded and get ready to fight. Darth Sidious engages Mace Windu and three other Jedi Masters, killing three of them within seconds. While this happens, Obi-Wan and Defian engage each other, once Master and Apprentice, now proposed enemies. Meanwhile, Anakin, overcome with anxiety, decides to leave the Council Chambers and heads out to where the others are. Back at the battle, Mace Windu and Sidious fight, but in this timeline, Sidious does not hold back against him, killing Mace Windu with a powerful blast of Force Lightning. Just then, Anakin arrives to find Sidious watching as Defian has a saber locked with Obi-Wan's. Anakin, get out of here, you must contact Master Yoda. Just then, Defian breaks the saber lock with Obi-Wan and quickly lunges at Sidious, who quickly locks his saber with him. Traitor! Look, now is our only chance! Anakin, strike him now! You are the chosen one! Only you can bring balance to the Force! Anakin approaches with his saber ignited. Conflicted, he swipes at Defian, who then switches and locks sabers with him. Anakin, what are you doing? This is our only chance to defeat the Sith! Just then, Sidious blasts Defian with Force Lightning out the window. Obi-Wan, with all his power, Force pushes Anakin against Sidious, knocking his lightsaber out of his hands. Obi-Wan uses the Force to grab Anakin's saber and runs out the building. Anakin then picks up Darth Defian's saber and is taken as Sidious' new apprentice. He is named Darth Vader as in the normal timeline. You shall be known as Darth Vader. Obi-Wan goes to meet up with Master Yoda in a remote location in space and reveals to him that Palpatine was Darth Sidious and that Anakin has joined him. Meanwhile, Ordi 66 is executed just as it is in the normal timeline. Obi-Wan and Yoda are together when it happens and realize they must head back to the temple if they are to save anyone. Upon returning to the temple, they destroy any clone troopers and set a new beacon telling all Jedi to stay away. I have 
recalibrated the code, warning all surviving Jedi to stay away. Yoda heads off to face Sidious, and just like in the normal timeline, he fails to defeat him. Just as in the normal timeline, Obi-Wan finds Anakin by sneaking onto Padme's ship, and Padme gets force choked by Anakin. Anakin and Obi-Wan then face one another. They have a heated battle, but ultimately Anakin is able to defeat Obi-Wan by jumping over him and putting a saber through his chest. I'm sorry, Master. Just then, Quagon appears to cut Anakin in half. You were meant to bring balance to the Force. Anakin falls to the lava pit and is burnt just like in the normal timeline. Obi-Wan dies in the arms of Qui-Gon, and Qui-Gon ultimately takes the place of Obi-Wan in this timeline. He brings Luke to Tatooine to train him when he is older, Leia goes to Alderaan with Senator Organa, and Yoda goes to Dagobah into exile. Darth Vader rises up and him and Sidious start their rule of the Empire. Alright everyone, that is it for part 3 in this series. Thanks for watching. What do you think of what happened? What would be different for you? Let me know down below in the comment section. And remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more great videos to come. I hope to see you all again in Leia's Lair.